update for you this Sunday. And here we have Bitcoin. And as you can see, we've cycled through this whole area. Now, what happens from here most often um, versus what I see going on and so forth? Uh, we're kind of holding this red line that you see right here on the bottom. Let me expand that a little bit. Doop, 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 doop. And we're holding it. And indecision is what you're basically seeing there. But there are a lot of spike candles, all from this under 8,000 area. So uh, there looks to be some positive uh, buying in this area. So what I would expect short term from what I've seen the dynamics and volume and the bids and asks and the way the price is flowing is maybe a spike up to like here, the 8,500 area, uh, maybe even all the way back up to here, uh, this area up in here. I don't think it'll last. Again, we're still looking for numbers down and there's really no, it's very indecisive. So I'm not going to go over and say one way or the other. Um, I, it's really a coin flip, but the volume from the past week has been positive in this area. So I'm going to give it, you know, uh, uh, to say that uh, there's a good probability we'll spike back up to here. Um, but outside of that, uh, we are at some point going to look for it to spike all the way down and get back to the low 7,000 and maybe even to the 6,000 area. Um, not going to predict that right now, but that that is very likely and you know what I've stated in the past um, BNB It's hit our targets Went up to this area the the 1830s. So as a short-term trade that's done um, Now as a long-term trade if you have people that want to hold for the 24 and above number That's fine. This area has a good probability of being hit, but that's longer term. There's also a good probability that will break this level down here and go under it and you know uh, jump around and uh, depending on the, the the big moves of Bitcoin uh, so that's going to be the leader but uh, BNB still overall um, you know short term uh, out of it uh, longer term you're looking at the 24 range so that is uh, where you stand with that and that's pretty much it. The market's been very boring. It's, it is congested. You're not getting the big moves, but uh, we did well in here with entries down here and here and exits here and there. So now I could start buying small, but this is so indecisive. And my targeting at optimally is 300. So I can make a maybe three to $500 trade which is not bad, but it is becomes more because of the, the points one, two, three, four that we have already developed, it becomes more risky. So I'm going to contemplate that. Uh, but if I wanted a risky trade, I would be buying under the 8,000 and trying to sell around the 8,400 and above to 8,500. Uh, that's basically it. Nothing to really report. Flip side on the downside is if we break this area here and break these this line, uh, you could see a very fast move down to the 7,000 range. And uh, that's basically it. You guys have a great weekend, and I'll update you again when something happens. All right.